morning friends today we are discussing software engineering tools friends we already discussed the importance of system software in system software we already discussed assemblers loaders introduction to machine architecture need of the compiler any kind of translator then after discussing all these things we discuss the debuggers text editors apart from main software engineering process tools also we discussed so today we will focus on software engineering tools because without system software nowadays uh, running of any kind of software is very typical so what are the prime characteristics of uh, software engineering tools and now we will discuss this <coughs> so anyhow for new viewers let me introduce i am dr bvnss prabhakar rao you can reach me on 9952096295 my mail id prabhakar rao at the rate of vat.ac.in anytime you can catch me so first let me explain what is system software engineering before entering into the tools software engineering is a strategic approach to the development operation maintenance retirement of the product so software is a product there are two type of two types of products are available one is the tangible product and second one is intangible product of course you may ask me what is the need of discussing the tangibility and intangibility in the product development why means say you take a carpenter <coughs> what when we are discussing software engineering what is the disk knowing and knowing the details of a carpenter job or assignment it's very simple friends if you take a carpenter job a carpenter will try to convert the raw material the so called wood from a tree so he want to convert the raw material into a finished part for suppose now we are comfortably sitting in a chair we want to develop a chair <coughs> we want to manufacture it so a revolving chair or any kind of chair assume that we will take take who take chair a carpenter may take uh, one week of time in order to cut the tree after cutting the tree pieces and all they have to do some kind of thing sometimes a welding is required for a uh, merging or uh, doing all these things into that then after finishing some kind of you know, assume that uh, five days are required <coughs> within a week he's going to develop a five days solid five days required, including testing and uh, and all these things so he will use some sort of tools in order to cut it as tools are required in order to screw unscrew arrange in a proper way as per comfortable way in contain uh, different design aspects uh, design models as per the latest equipment and all so finally if you see that a lot of procedure is being involved in that activity so that is the reason that is why that is why we may depend on certain tools that are simply required that are tools that are simply required for the carpenter work now whenever we are seeing software engineering concept software engineering is a systematic approach to the development operation maintenance retirement of the product so here the main thing is a carpenter is simply depending on the tools without the tools the chair making process will not happen at all so he has to adopt the strategies and effectively has to use the tools then only it is very possible to get a good quality product then we can reach the market easily whatever be the money you want to earn and all these things are possible so but the entire process if you see it's a tangible development tangible product development whereas software engineering if you see if you ask a person a software engineer 
a boss you have to develop this kind of product but what do you think here so that uh, if you ask a software engineer to develop this kind of product so ultimately that may not be possible why it may not be possible the answer is very simple boys <coughs> why it's not possible the answer is very simple because for a software engineering a product may require 1000 lines or 2000 lines or 5000 lines when we are developing the 5000 lines if you want to see the track of how the process is going on say it's not like that uh, again seven more working that quarter quarter days are required then we can't see that oh seven days required out of that five seven weeks seven days we have five days are enough from monday to friday so that monday he has to produce 200 lines and tuesday has to produce thousand lines uh, wednesday we don't have time that time we are having meetings and other uh, administrative related work so that he has to produce 500 lines and so that's then finally Friday we have a testing process and also the Thursday by hooker, cooker, late night or whatever it is we are supposed to finish the good and we have to deliver the product and all these things we will try to speak oh, hey guys try to listen we can insist the programmer you have to do like this but ultimately if you want to track that that programmer is really working on that it is very impossible whereas the carpenter concern if you want to see whether he is making a proper chair or not first day second day third day you can see the improvement in the development process and that way we can see that yeah the product is being developed in a right way a right product is development in a right way that way we can assess but where a software engineering is concerned it's highly impossible guys you can't say oh this guy is spent four hours or eight hours per day and ultimately a right product is developed in a right manner it's not possible so in this circumstance a tool development is essential so if we use the tool in the same kind of way it is more advantage for us so that is what we are discussing how we have to develop a product what kind of tools are required for this that and all we are discussing in this particular class so friends we will try to see that how it is going on how it is working okay so for that matter we will discuss some more some more things okay a few more things few more things now <coughs> so if you want to see the uh, development of this one so that is a human computers and other one lot of any any kind of development we have to develop a lot of things lot of things we have to develop for this we can refer a lot of books as the Pearson and initially books are available so I want to use some uh, kind of writing and all so routine process uh, for suppose if you want to develop a tool for tax returns so, so tax return preparation if you see that the tax return preparation then we can depend on a yeah, doctor diagnosis addition support system then we have to use a tool without a tool even though you say see x-ray scanning is there even though a software can be developed in order to track the process but what is required tool is required guys without a tool it's very difficult for us to assess what is happening how it is being happening how it is being functioning on all these things and apart from that educational training sector so in educational training we require more more things without that it's very important okay uh, for suppose nowadays people are using music and all for that uh, playing and all it's a uh, simulation things and all for music information things and all for suppose in youtube we want to set some music and all then we are using a tool nowadays so social media working and again photo photos and all photos videos and all crop the photos and all say for example we will discuss just just we will discuss a most beautiful thing yeah a beautiful thing just a minute just a minute i will come to that conclusion for suppose this one this one we will say for suppose this one we will say <coughs> So mobile is being used so you see families are using small devices to in here also if you want to de develop uh, this kind of thing if you want to develop this kind of things then what is required so if you want to develop this one this one if you want to develop or if you want to develop this kind of thing this kind of things uh, guys without a tool it's very very impossible to come up with such kind of models so what is a tool what is a tool let me finish what is a tool let me finish. So now what are the things? Here all we have a lot of tools guys. We have a lot of tools. So say for example here we have so for suppose if I want to make add and colors if I want to use some colors, if I want to use some grey color, if I want to use some black color, if I want to use a view, if I want to use add-ons, if I want to use animations, 
if I want to use transitions, if you want to design, say for example, this design perspective I want, I want to use some fonts. So these are the fonts that are available, A2 Office, Office, Office Classic, or Frank, these things. So if we want to go and discuss all these things, this kind of thing, a background styles are required. Say if I'm interested in style, if I'm interested in style, if I'm interested in this style, this style, this style, this style, this style, this style is format of the background. Say here I want to see that the different background colors are required. Say if you see this particular part, a format of background, the fill, in fill solid fill is there and gradient fill is there, picture texture is there, pattern is there, hide a background graphics is there, it's very important guys. So now if you want to texture this, you see that and different textures are available, this one, a fish wash is there, this one is there, this one is, many people will prefer this one, many people will differ uh, different kinds of things, clipboard is there or clip art is there. Okay, so now if you want to say that I want this kind of flip art or somebody will say that I want this kind of flip art, what is this? Now, in order to develop a kind of thing, these are all, uh, we are using some kind of added advantage. See, if people want to develop their product, so as and when they are developing their product, if you give some added advantage to that, it's like a flavor. For suppose if I want to import something. Now we are saying that yeah, it's there in Google Drive. So we can go to that Google Drive. So as and when I'm going to the Google Drive, what is there in Google Drive? For suppose I want to take that. Um, hmm? Say for example, I want to take that. Assume that here we are taking some other kind of thing. Ah, okay. So if I want to take no 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 this one I want to take or I want to take this one. So picture is there or I want to use this one. So whatever what is happening here? Now no, no no I don't I want to see that all the things I want to see that all these things are I want to be arranged in a proper way. If I want to arrange everything in a proper way, how it is how it is possible how, if I want to arrange everything in a possible now I want to click this. So what is this extra large uh, large icons, list items are there, small icons. No, no, no. I want to know the details of that. What is this particular thing? I want to know that. What is the detailed thing are there? No, no. I want to see this. No, no, no. I want to see this. For suppose if I want to click this, what is the happening? What is happening? Immediately, I should know that. So without, uh, for suppose if you want to know these details at all, so finally it's a very simple. It's very simple, guys. So the thing is, as and when we are taking one thing, so what is happening? So here it is happening. Here, how it is happening? A function is happening. Now I don't want to change the color. Somebody, they, no, 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 no. I hear some black color is there. I'm not interested in black. Immediately we have to change. So finally we are providing and we are depending on some sort of guidelines. See that if you want to develop a tool, immediately we have to, uh, we have to depend on a particular guideline. So, for suppose, I don't want to this, okay, for now leave it, leave it, I want to close these things. Now, I want to go for other approach, I want to go for other approach. So, what is this approach? It's very simple approach. So, it's very simple approach. So, this approach will give you, so what are the languages we have, what are the best practices we have, what are the things are the navigation and interfaces. Now, we are talking about navigating the interface. So, sample of the national, so some of the things, stocks and all they are given. So, accessibility guidelines when we are developing a tool, the tool how do we have to accessible. So, so organization, consistency of data display. So, every time how it is a minimum memory load if you want to get a load and again if you want to refer that to this and all and getting the user attention. So, intensity, marking, size, choice of font, inverse video, blinking, color, audio. Friends, these are the areas we already discussed in the couple of minutes. So, what is intensity? What is marking? What is the size? What is the choice of fonts? You see, some people, they want only Arial. Some people, they will say that, no, 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 I want only the times of your Some people will say that this particular thing, a letter should be required. Some people will say that, no, 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 this is the tool I am simply developed so that uh, the people should be in a position to use only a particular my logo. So, how I will try to uh, justify that this is my tool. So, based on that only we can say that. So, that uh, in our 
started to develop all these kind of interfaces or whatever it is there are certain principles we have to use so the principles are very simple and beautiful principle guys so more fundamentals widely applicable and enduring the guidelines need more clarification fundamental principles determine the user skill level identify that sets so a very important friends because without knowing the user skills you see you developed a beautiful tool no doubt you are great you developed a beautiful tool but what is the use of it for suppose when the public they don't know how to use it what is the use of that you see in the every mobile each and every mobile nowadays we have lots of features friends we have huge features but some people they don't know how to use it so what is the thing is you have the features uh, but the problem is whenever they want to use that particular feature their skill level is not sufficient you should not say that illiterate or literate it's not the question of their uh, educational background so it depends on the age for suppose a person is retired he don't want to do anything some people they are very particular about a traditional mechanism they don't want or some people they are very busy they don't want to use the system what are the features so that the user skill level somebody they are good in listening and they are good in learning the things they are good in uh, navigating the new things and all they want to see the uh, unexposed paths and all so that and all they will try so that's why we have to see that in the develop tool these are the features are there these features the users are in a position to understand and what we have seen so like that we are saying that prime five memory interaction styles and we are discussing different golden rules of course as per the textbook we are using eight golden rules that we will discuss friends now determine the user skill levels first know the user know the user means first you have to understand the user friends to know that whether you believe or not just 5 years 6 years 10 years i'm observing different kids anywhere anywhere if i'm go anywhere any house if they have tv or computer laptop all kids sometimes they will say that a cartoon movies and all kids they will so how old they are just their 6 months 1 year 2 years even 3 years also if you start that cartoon tv and all immediately they will cry when say small small kids also they will cry they will not allow you to change the tv channels and all so what is the thing is here very much is no the user some old people they are very much interested in no the newspaper newspaper articles or news some kind of news they are interested some ladies they were really interested in only the serials so serials you should not some people will they are enjoying only music so pop music some people will traditional music some people will devotional music you see different people that is what you see here know the user as we have to see gender we have to see psychological cognitive cognitive abilities and their education you have to see friends cultural ethnical background training motivation goals and their personality so if you want to develop anything guys first we have to see that know the user first we have to see that who is your user know the you know the user once you know the user what about their age what about their gender what about their physical and cognitive abilities what about the education what culture we are using see for suppose uh, uh, if you want to use a good movie for suppose uh, recently uh, kamal hasan or rajnikanth movie eh, rajnikanth recently lungida lungida eh, lungida 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 dance is there so that's a dance is a great dance by deepika padukone and sharuk khan okay it's a chenna express chenna express if the same movie if you want to take to some bihar or some bhojpuri movie lovers if you show that they will not accept why they will not accept because their cultural things say as per their culture ethnical background training so these these are all these are all goals the prince one is the age second one is the gender third one is a physical fourth one is a cognitive ability and education cultural ethnic <coughs> background training motivation goals these are all so these are the, some people will have first time user some people they are a uh, lot of expert frequent users and all these are the things we should be 
aware with that otherwise it's very difficult for us guys so identify the tasks so like that we have to identify like that for you have different kinds of directional styles different kind of menus different kinds of form filling different common nice languages and all you see sometimes if you want to ask a person to fill their blank so what kind of tool we have to use is in that we use this google form or a survey form any tool you already made tools we are using survey monkey or something then what kind of things if you aren't ask what is your date of birth so then if you are expecting a date of birth then they will follow somebody dd mm y y y somebody will follow dd mm y y somebody will follow that mm dd y y so different people will follow different kinds of things so so what is your expectation they may not know that see that's what in the life the communication gap is very important friends so you have to address the communication gap in software engineering also because whenever we are developing a soft system software component you must understand the different various people their cultures and all so otherwise what is the problem you are thinking in different way and you are asking the people you are seeking the information in one way but what is the guarantee that the particular user will understand your needs and they will supply the requirements are they will supply the information the way you are asking so that uh, there is a gap in between so instead of uh, uh, worrying instead of commenting on all these things so why we have to bother about all these things so that is why first of all you have to prepare a command line or anything a pull down menu or 2d interface anything as per your choice and you have to give a chance instead of uh, you are expecting this way the will enter but you don't have any control but instead of that if you give this way then automatically they don't have any option so that they will fill this one okay so if you want you can apart from this we can mention somewhere a yeah, text box or something others if somebody wants to give so they can give now as and when we are using a rules a design interface design interface it's very important friends it is very very important that the eight golden rules the eight golden rules are important now i want to see that the first golden right strive for consistency so right from beginning friends we have to maintain the same thing just like that we should not change we have to maintain and cater the universal usability what is this universal usability as and when we are developing a product we have to see that the acceptance should be there universally of course it is highly impossible but we have to see that that means you have to understand the different global global perspective even though we are acting locally you should think and uh, the visionary whatever it is you should be global say for example a car manufacturer or a pen if you take a pen or something they are developing or a, a mic they are developing so all these things we have to see that and what extent they are developing offer informative feedback to see that uh, informative feedback is very very important first we have to collect the feedback how they are feeling whether uh, they are ready, uh, accepting your product or not whether they are okay with your product or not for suppose if they are not okay with the product what kind of expectations they have that should not we should do design a direct to yield the closer so that's what just in previous class uh, previous slide also we discussed the dialog boxes so why we have to discuss the dialog boxes so the dialog boxes means uh, so with a dialog only we will understand it's not a dialog mean dialog means a dialog box creation so that what is your expectation exactly you are giving in a format say enter your name so you please enter here first name you please enter your say for example dialog so first name you please enter here you please enter your surname or you please enter your surname in block letters so they are supposed to enter Letters only. Then once it is over, then uh, dialogues. So what is your uh, surname? Oh, then what is the address we have? So what is the address we have? All these things you have to enter properly. So we need to try to uh, convert that, prevent the errors. So what are the errors we are facing? Those errors should be prevent properly. So once we are preventing those errors, then only permit easy reversal actions. What is this uh, easy reversal actions? sometimes that's what we have software engineering as well as reverse engineering sometimes we have a reengineering you see that just today in beginning 
in today's class we discuss the uh, carpenter chap so what is this for suppose a customer uh, of course we developed that raw material thing and all from raw material to finished board for suppose if it is not exactly fitting the requirements of the customer then when the customer community is refusing that then immediately they will try to reverse it and again they want to convert that into different product they will resize it or some kind of modification they will do they will do. so similarly as and when we are developing something and as and when permit easy reversal of actions so that is what if they are not then what way we have to do that that also we should have then support integral locus of control that's control we should have so that reduce the short term memory so this is very very important friends why means because we should not uh, they should be you should not uh, um, uh, expect that everything they will buy hurt and they will reproduce that as and when in the beginning itself as and when they are asking something then you have to say that whatever you want or oh, this is the thing you want this is the thing we are expecting that say for example you are going for a shallow uh, for a barber then they will show some sort of models hey, these are the things are available so what do you want what kind of cut you want so that is what you are allowing that uh, oh this is what they want so that way if you provide it will be nice so that uh, it is our responsibility we have to see that we need to do everything as per the customer satisfaction thank you very much for giving this opportunity you can read